What's going on, everybody? This is JD back with a quick review. Um, I've been taking some time away, just been busy working, but um, I recently started a new TV show. It's old, but I'm I'm just now caught on to it, and it is called How to Get Away with Murder, featuring uh, beautiful Viola Davis. Um, it talks of, it takes us through her character of being Annalise. Keating, as she is a powerful defense attorney, and her different ways and methods of getting in and out of uh, cases. Um, started with her teaching the class. This, and I've only gotten through season one, but um, that was that was a crazy season. I'm kind of nervous to watch season two. It's got six seasons to it, so I don't I don't know what's going to happen with it. But the se season one was just crazy. Um, it started out with um, the big bonfire uh, game that night on a college campus. Then it cut to her husband being murdered. And as the season went on, the story started to un unravel. I tell you what, by episode six, I had finally caught on and got addicted to it to where I was having dreams. I was actually one of the characters in the, in the, in the TV show. <laughs> um, uh, but we got, she has, I think, she has five students. Uh, you got Wes, Connor, uh, Michaela, Laurel, and uh, what's the other guy? His father's a judge. Gosh, what is that? Guy? <laughs> but of course, he's the goofy one, and all the other ones are, are the serious ones. Ugh. So starting off with the, um, with the death of Sam, uh, Annalise's husband. I thought it had something to do with, with the husband's death. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a brain twist. It's a brain twist. Because I thought she had something to do with the husband's death. Um, as, it, as the story started to unfold and, un, and unravel uh, throughout the first season, you start to see how the events really unfolded. It's almost like every episode they unraveled it a little bit more, kind of almost to keep you coming back to see it. Um, this, this was a crazy TV show. I'm so glad I didn't watch it while it was on because I would not have liked to have wait, waited one or two weeks to see the next episode. If I got to wait one or two weeks to see the next episode, I might as well let the entire season play out and then watch it back because I want to keep. I want to be able to keep up with the story. But she was crazy. Oh man, what she did to her uh, her lover Nate, the uh, officer. She was having an affair with the officer because her husband was stepping out on her with her with the students. I thought Sam killed the, killed the girl that was pregnant with a child. He did not. I thought they were on a rooftop. He strangled her. That was done. I just finished the last episode of season one, by the way. How about it was the assistant. Frank, that strangled her. Well, I, I guess you can kind of say it was Sam that did it because Sam called Sam called Frank to tell him to do it. So Frank did kill her because the girl didn't want to give up the baby. But Sam's hands wasn't involved in it. Um, oh, man. Mm. Mm. And then the girl, Rebecca, she is a uh, one at West, the one at West like. She is a hero. Too. She changed her. She said that, but and again, looking back on the season, she was telling the truth the whole time. She had nothing to do with Laura, with the um, Lilla, Leah, Leah's death, which was the girl that died in the first, uh, first episode. They spent the whole season trying to get to the bottom of her death. Uh, by season four or five, they had pinpointed Sam as killing the girl. And I was trying to get the information off of Sam's computer. Um, and Nate, Nate, uh, Annalise's mistress, Annalise's side piece, gave Rebecca a hand drive to, to plug into Sam's phone. She didn't get to Sam's phone. She got to Sam's computer. A whole fight, out, a whole fight broke out. Now, this is linking back up to episode one, so we now know how Sam died, why the five students was around the body trying to burn it. 
and he thought Sam thought that you know Sam was going to let them go. Wes assured him that they wouldn't do anything. A fight broke out on the stairs, and Sam jumped for uh, Rebecca to get the flash drive from her, and Michaela kind of helped him, slid him over the balcony, and he fell like two stories down. Thought he was dead. The group thought he was dead, too, so they was trying to figure out what to do with the body. They went into the other room. He was up choking Rebecca. Now, I'm trying to, I think the reason he was choking Rebecca, ah, uh, makes sense. He was choking Rebecca was uh, because that he didn't want the police to know that he knew that she was pregnant. That's the thing. They, they re-excavated her body around season, around episode eight or nine and discovered that she did have a, a fetus in her, in her uterus. I tell you, this, 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 is, this is wild. This is crazy. This was crazy. I'm nervous to see season two because I'm, I'm like, I need to take a breather. I need to take a, uh, a break. You know, because it was so much excitement in season one. I got five more seasons to go. Hmm. Whoever wrote this season one, this, it, it was really good. It was really well well um, thought out. I mean, well written. And gosh, I was like, I, I, it's, uh, I'm thankful I'm able to watch through the seasons now, like I said, because I hate waiting a whole nother week for another episode, especially if it's something I'm interested in. Look, I want episodes tomorrow. I want episodes the next day so I can you know keep up with the story. But Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, How to Get Away with Murder, starring Viola Davis. This is my season one review. It was, fan it was phenomenal. I haven't seen I haven't seen anything like it. I know it came out in 2016, but I haven't seen anything like it. It's a phenomenal episode. Phenomenal, I mean, phenomenal season uh, to kickstart the, um, kick the series. Now, I do believe Annalise knew more about her death than what she let on. I don't think she thought Sam, I don't think she believed her husband killed the girl. I think when she found out the girl was pregnant, that's what pushed her over the head to say, I need to push her over the edge to say, I need to go ahead and get rid of this guy. If he doesn't love me, we've been married for 20 years. And this, and he's getting, he's constantly sleeping with his kids. But then again, it doesn't it didn't make her right either. Because like I said, she had a side piece that used to be a police officer. Oh man, let me say let me go on about them and go into that. Now the side piece was a police officer, right? She pins her husband's death on the side piece. Because she put his fingerprint on the ring on his on Sam's wedding ring, which the officers found in the woods. Mm. So while he's in prison, she's quote unquote trying to get him out. So she um, hi, she has Frank, which is an associate, a.k.a. Um, mercenary, I say, to um, make a call. Was it? Yeah, Frank made a call. Frank made a call to have um, Nate beat up in prison so that he could be released because he wouldn't be safe in there. How about the judge that was on the case? The judge that was on the case um, put him in solitary confinement, so she wasn't going to let him go. Originally, Annalise said that he's going to get a slap on the wrist. We're going to beat. We're going to bang him up a little bit so that he would be released uh, because he wouldn't be safe inside of there. She moves in solitary confinement, so she has to use um, one of the guys, one of the students that's working closely with her use his connection to get Judge Stone off the case in order to get the guy released. But here it is, Nate was never supposed to have been in there because he was working hard to try to find the girl's killer as well. He was try he, he himself was trying to see if Sam was the monster that Annalise was making him out to be. And then she goes to the um, new judge and changes her story. So Nate never had any interaction with Sam, but now Annalise is telling the new judge that he did have a physical altercation with my husband that night. 
So but she's also kind of helping him on the back end because she goes to visit him after being be, being beat up in jail. He's saying, leave me alone. I don't want to see you. But she move, moves her head in front of the camera so they can't see her slip him a note telling him to fire his lawyer and contact this individual. Who knows what the individual is going to be? They did not go into that uh, arena. They did not go into that detail within this first season. I don't know. I think he need to get the heck out of Dodge. Leave that, leave that girl alone. If you messing with any woman or man, they're getting you thrown in jail because you killed your husband. You're trying to cover your tracks. And then they get you beat up in jail so you can get out of jail. But instead, you get thrown into solitary confinement. And then they get your judge thrown off your case, a new judge put on your case so that you can get out, so you can come out of jail. Look, ain't, ain't enough ain't enough sex, ain't enough love in the world just worth all that. I mean, I've been in love before. And look, you're not gonna you're not gonna make me go through all of that just for you. And then after all of that, because of the public eye and your um like your reputation out in public. We can't even kick it, kick it no more. You know, we can't even hang out no more because of how the public perceives you. Yeah, I just, I, my heart went out to Nate for how Annalise treated her. And then my heart went out to Michaela's husband, come to think about it. He had a little, ish, he had a little bit of experimental uh, episode when he was about 14 at a boarding school with one of her classmates, Connor. And he said nothing ever happened after that. It was a boys' school. He experimented. He schooled. He couldn't get over that factor, so he called off the wedding because she continued to look at him like he couldn't make up his mind. But I think, come to find out, he is experimental in this adult life because what Michaela told his mom, because she was the mom after, um, I'm going to call him dead. After Dan told Michaela that he did not want to be with her anymore because she couldn't get out of his mind, that one experiment that he had in his life when he was 14, um, he said, the wedding's off. He said, I no longer love you. I don't want to marry you. She was heartbroken, but she was also going through the issue of trying to cover up the fact that she was um, implemented in Sam's murder or an accessory to the murder. Um but the mom, Dan's mom, actually called her back up, wanted to have dinner, and she, I think she said it, Michaela said she wanted a ring back. She's not going to give her the ring back. But Dan's mom said, no, it's not that. She said, you're perfect for my son. And I think, I think a reason also coming into this was that uh, Michaela had signed that prenup already that was very big of her family. Dan's family uh, owns like a pharmaceutical store or owns a chain of stores and they're very wealthy, well off. And Michaela just flat out told her mom at the dinner, you know, you know your son's bisexual or experimental. And the only reason you're coming up to me, a woman that you don't like, is because that no one else will accept your son for who he is. You don't even accept your son for who he is. So no, the marriage is over. I'm keeping the ring because this state is a... Uh, she threw some kind of law out there where, where she doesn't need to give the ring. It was gifted. That's what she was saying. The ring was gifted as a part of um, as a part of his commitment, which he broke. So I'm keeping the ring, and you can find someone else to date your experimental son. Or basically, she was just said, you know, you knew your son was like this his whole life. Accept your son for who he is, and you know, don't contact me. Don't come after me anymore. No, because knowing that you don't like me, you just want me to portray that image, you know, for your family and for your uh, constituents, you know. And a lot, a lot, a lot of storylines. Uh, West, big, tall, uh, brown-skinned guy, kind of looks like me. <laughs> Love with uh, Rebecca, the girl everyone thought uh, had something to do with killing um, Leah. Connor, he was, he was gay. He was kind of a I kind of, I kind of feel sad for how it ended with him and his boyfriend. He found an Asian guy, the hacker. They was off on and off again uh, throughout the whole season. Towards the end of the season, they, they was trying. He kind of was trying to make more of an effort to be a boyfriend, 
because he had never did that before. And gosh, I thought uh, his name was Oliver. Connor's boyfriend is Oliver. I thought Oliver said that he was good. The quick test said they went and got an STD test. The quick test said that he was okay, but the two week later test said that he did test positive for an STD. I don't know which one it was. They didn't go into that much detail. They might go into detail um, in the next season. I don't know. Uh, you know, Michaela's boyfriend was a uh, husband, fiance was Dan. Experimental, he experimented with Connor when they were in boarding school, you know, years ago when they were 14. Uh, Laurel, she was dating Frank, which turned out to be the killer of Leah, uh, Annalisa's right hand man. And then, uh, we'll call what else? They got the, the, the fifth guy. Um, his name is Millstone, last name is Millstone, uh, fa famous judge. Famous family. Uh, his father's a judge that uh, wrongfully accused the guy. It's almost like a boys' club thing, how it was painted, where his father um, sentenced a black guy to prison. And I guess that's how he moved up in that status. And, you know, I believe judges are, are barred. You know, who, judges send down rulings. Um, they rule in favor of the party that they have the best interest for. And so that's uh, Millstone's background. Crazy season. And then it comes to find out at the end of the season, Frank, uh, Annalise was yelling, who who let Rebecca out? She's gone. She's missing. So all the kids were frantic. All the while, we knew, I mean, I knew Wes. Wes let, let her go because uh, Wes had a crush on her. It's like West. It's like she has some crack on her, on her body or something. West couldn't leave her alone. <laughs> West couldn't let her go. But come to find out, Frank went down there, killed her, and stuffed her behind the staircase. So when, so Annalise had to console West because she's th he's thinking that she's uh, ran off. But all the while, Annalise knew Frank killed her. But Annalise knew Frank killed her. And Annalise knew it had to be done to keep her quiet because she had too much dirt on the entire group and her operations and what she what she does. So it's almost like Rebecca had blackmail on Annalise and the group, and then um, the group had group really didn't have much on on Rebecca except for the fact that she gave her roommate her neighbor, PCP, to keep him quiet about what she saw the night that uh, Leah was killed. Oh, this is just a... I'm not doing it justice. If you guys can find a Hulu, Netflix, to go watch that first season back, you'll see just how, free, how crazy it is. Make sure you have some popcorn, nuts, ice cream. Make sure you have some drink. Make sure you have, you know, you sit there and really get into it. This was a this was a crazy season, and it pulls you back in wanting more. I want I can't wait to see the next season. I think I'm gonna start season two either tonight or tomorrow. Hmm. But, hey, that's my my review on uh, how to get away with murder season one. I will be back with another review after I finish season two. Man. Alvin uh, Davis is one is one heck of an actor. Ooh, has Cicely Tyson in it playing her mother? The amazing Cicely Tyson. Wow. All right, guys, this is JD with JD Reviews. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for liking, comment, and subscribing um, to the videos. Um, like. And comment below on this video. Let me know who all out there has watched How to Get Away with Murder. Let me know what were your thoughts on the first seasons. Please don't give me no spoilers. Please don't give me no spoilers. I'm I'm going to start season two tonight or tomorrow night, depending on you know when I have time to open it. Um, this season one was just it was crazy. It was crazy. But thank you guys so much for your support.